Mutual UFO Network returns to Texas with their much-anticipated 2024 MUFON event, the three-day symposium, which is organized by the largest and longest-running UFO community, will explore insightful sessions and discussions uncovering truths from experts and experiencers. Now to fill in on what we can expect is Ron James, Media Relations Director with the Mutual UFO Network. Welcome, Ron. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. All right, Ron, first tell us about MUFON. MUFON is an all-volunteer organization. It was started right after Project Blue Book concluded by a group of people who thought that the UFO investigations needed to continue. And now here we are 55 years later, and MUFON is still going strong with over 7,000 members worldwide and investigators all over the planet to check into stories when we hear them and publish the results. Our official charter is the scientific study of UFOs for the benefit of mankind. The International Symposium is being held right here in Irving this year, and the theme for this year's event is the battle for transparency. Tell us about that, Ryan. Well, there's a political battle happening right now in the halls of Congress and the halls of the Pentagon over disclosure about the existence of a non-human intelligence engaging the human race. And this battle has been going on for a very long time, but now the Congress is involved, politicians are involved, civilian organizations have more and more evidence to present without the government coming clean. Who is hiding the truth and who is trying and who's trying to find it? Well, you know, that's a very interesting question, and I'm glad you asked. We believe, and we have plenty of evidence to support this, that back in the 1940s, when the atomic bomb was, was created, it attracted a lot of attention from non-human intelligence for a variety of reasons, and that the crash at Roswell and other crashes of that, of that time frame uh, really did happen. And at that point, a group of, of government people got together and formed a group to analyze, study, and make recommendations on how to manage this information. And it was decided that, you know, the broader population was not going to be informed. And fast forward to now, over the years, pieces of technology have been given to private industry. They've been given to compartmentalized government programs where nobody really knows the big picture. It might be here, study this piece of material, tell us what it's made of and what it can do. And so it's been compartmentalized and classified and privatized to the point where the public just has no access to this information. And the people who know the big picture are few and far between. It's been lost in time and there's no real willingness on the part of private industry and the guardians of this information to just come out and tell us because they would have to admit that they've been lying to us for years and years and they would also have to admit that we have technology that they don't want our adversaries to know we have so it, it's real there are crash uh, retrieval programs where they've been reverse engineering off-world craft for years and it's uh, it's been all but proven and the only thing we need now is for the Pentagon and the DOD and the intelligence agencies that are covering it up to start finally admitting the information. So the MUFON Symposium is happening July 11th through 14th. The special event is happening the night of the 13th at 8 p.m. Central Time. And people can find out more about the symposium by going to MUFONSymposium.com, M-U-F-O-N Symposium, they can find out more about MUFON on our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube channels, Twitter. It's all under MUFON, M-U-F-O-N. And if they want to find out just more about our organization, they can go to MUFON.com.